Art is an interest or a passion of mine. Art is a best friend, and as most friends do, she has helped me become who I am today. The creation of an image is how I have come to pour out extreme emotions. Each scribble of a pencil, stroke of a brush, or scratch of chalk is a different thought and a new statement. I watch myself make a mark in a canvas, and I feel like someone's listening, as if someone understands. In some instances, it's the only thing I can do to get myself to understand. I'm thinking of one night specifically. I drew two lips kissing, a couple deeply in love. First, I drew the man. His messy hair, dark facial hair, and eyes closed as he reached his hands around his lover's neck. I continued to the lover, starting with a rough outline of the head, neck, and shoulders, and drew in the face. Eyes closed, lips pursed tightly. Then stopped. I began to have a difficult time breathing. My heart was beating as if someone had just embarrassed me in front of the entire country, causing my face to flush. I began to draw the hair, but it was exactly what I did not finish drawing that allowed me to take my first sobbing breath of self-realization and knowledge that the way I felt on the inside was not going to change. The man's partner did not have the long flowing hair I usually placed on the entranced second lover. Both individuals received the same short, messy hair and facial hair from their sideburns down to their Adam's apples. I had never been able to take the risk of completing this drawing. I had attempted so many times before, but I knew that once that image existed, there would be no more getting back in that dark closet that somehow convinced me that drowning in self hate was comfortable. I sat and stared at what was the ugliest beauty I had ever seen. Physical proof that I am gay. It was uncomfortable, but I did it anyways and it felt amazing. I told my best friend how I truly felt, and she allowed me to simply cry. My tears streaming down my cheeks and landing on her fragile, pale skin. It was official. I didn't have to hide from myself anymore.